Welcome back to another video guys, it's Ryan from Curbside Cleaning and today we have got a very special video um, we're back at the job that we, the very first job we filmed on YouTube um, back here ready for, so the customer basically they do um, open garden days um, once a year so we're back here making it look pretty for the open garden day um, so I'll show you what we're doing um, she's obviously moving this mulch, but we're going to be cleaning the driveway, all of this part here. Um, I'll take you around this way. And these little flagstones here. This is the main patio, which has gone rather green since the last time we were here. Uh, which I can't nicely as far forget that for you. Oh. Well, somewhere some pens and magnet and oh, thank you. grocery in there. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting new ones so I'm giving oh, them out no, to no everyone. No worries. <laughs> then we are also going to do these little um, brick paths, just make them pop out a little bit. And they go all the way to the back here. Then this little path, this little one down here. We're cleaning this greenhouse. And which isn't that dirty, we clean it for about twice a year. And this little brick area here as well. And now I'll clean this, I have cleaned this before, but this, this obviously being white under these trees has become very, very mossy. Um, so yeah, we'll get that looking nice. I'm gonna do this one with the mini surface cleaner just so we can avoid spattering as much up this as possible. Um, yeah, obviously we're gonna do all them, do this, clean this, then move forwards as we go. So let's get you set up and get started.
Right, so we've got the first bit done. Um, we're just going to do the um, greenhouse now. Now, I wouldn't ever use pressure washer on a greenhouse like this. It's a single glazed. Um, I'm not even entirely sure if it's glass. It could be like a perspex. Um, feels like glass, but either way, I wouldn't use pressure washer on it. And just to be on the safe side, so we use mortar fed pole. Now, I've had this one custom made. It's shorter than normal. It's got my logo on it. If you can see, new logo coming soon. We did a full rebrand. Um, there'll be a video on that once everything's ready. Um, I'm going to talk about the life of Curbside and how it started, where I'm at now, two years on. Um, but yeah, let's get cracking with the uh, with this uh, greenhouse. So that's that end of the garden done. Um, onto the patio and the driveway now. Working in these kind of gardens is it's absolutely gorgeous and you do, do enjoy working in these different types of environments. But mate, you're getting bitten by so many gnats, it's a joke. But uh, yeah, onto the old uh, very first YouTube patio that we ever done. Um, I think we can probably make an improvement from uh, about two years ago, year and a half ago, something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get you set up, I've got to change the battery in the camera um, and get cracking.
All right, that is us all done, guys. Um, I'll quickly show you the finished product. Uh, now we've left the treatment on this patio and um, just a weak solution just to get rid of those really stubborn black marks but it seems to be working uh, which is nice so I think last year I wasn't able to to shift them all uh, but it looks like this year we've uh, we managed to do the job but then we'll show you around the back so these little brick pathways come up really really nice really nice and bright now these ones have started to dry out um, here's the little brick section and the greenhouse come up really really nice as well this little section out the back there's been birds birds have started pooing on it already unfortunately but i think that's the nature of a of a garden like this and that's that one and then take you down to the uh, the driveway and show you that so basically with the driveway um, when I first done this job two years ago however long it was I repointed the driveway for the customer it's only easy joint um, into the gaps and um, when really what I should have done is um, I'll leave that one open for what I should have done was grind out the existing and then and then replace so a lot of the stuff you can sort of see the stuff that i put in and um, compared to the old stuff so it's slightly darker and um, has started falling out and um, there were a fair bit of weeds and the customer obviously got this open day didn't want um didn't want loads of gaps in there so what i said to her was i'll treat we'll leave we won't blast the weeds we'll leave them and treat them with the chemicals that kill them off and then she'll be able to see them white and she'll be able to pick them out which is what we've done down here um but yeah where the car sort of sits and um, i don't know if it's coming out you see it's missing a lot of the new easy joint that um that we laid but um other than that it's come up pretty nice um nice little tuesday afternoon job catch you next one